Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make something really cool that I made. This right here is a paddle. Okay? And it actually works too. You can just take maybe a, a crumpled ball and you can just like do that with it. Or if you're playing like ping pong or something. So yeah, it's pretty cool and it works too. And I'm going to tease it to you now. Alright, so here it goes. So this model I folded from a 6 inch square of double sided origami paper that was purple on one side and yellow on the other. And I ended up with just a purple paddle. Okay? And you can see us you can see a little bit of I don't know if you can see that, but see there's a little there's a little bit of yellow so you can see it's like a line. So yeah, yellow on one side and purple on the other. So I I made a purple paddle. But in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to fold it from a six inch square of Kami. Okay? Alright, so um for a brown paddle, let's begin white side up and fold in half. Okay? This is going to be like a wooden paddle since I'm using brown. Okay? And unfold and fold in half the other way. Okay? Like that. And now fold this point to here. Yes, we're making a water bomb base. Okay? And turn over right to left and fold this point to here. And now open the pocket and but yeah, put your hand all the way inside and bring the sides together like that and flatten it. And here we have the water bomb base. Okay? Alright, so now let's take um we're gonna take this and we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to the crease here. Okay, and take this edge and fold it to here. Okay, now um, turn over and fold this point to the top. And take this point and fold it to the top. And now unfold those, and now let's unfold them behind. So I'm going to fold this over right here, and we're going to fold this up right on the existing crease. Okay? And then refold it back. And now fold this over, and fold this like that. And fold the flap over. So this is going to be the paddle part right here, and this is going to be the handle. So let's work on the handle. So um, let's... Um, turn over and let's un let's unfold here, just kind of like that, and take this point and fold it to that point, like this, and fold this back down and fold this point to here. Okay, and now we're gonna we're gonna pretty much narrow the handle out. Unless you want a thick handle, but I don't like the look of that, so I'm gonna narrow it out. So I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna fold it to the middle as well, and hold this down so it doesn't slide. Hold the layers down. And crease sharply, and rotate, and fold this edge to here. Hold the layer down, the layers. Like that. Okay. Now, see how the handle is like se two separate things right here? I don't like the look of that, so there's a, there's a nice lock that I'm going to show you. So it's going to make it look like one, too. So we're going to bring them together just like that, see? Just like that. And you should see um, two points right here. I don't think it matters what direction you put them together, maybe like this. But I'm going to do it like this. So it doesn't, I don't know if it matters what side. Okay. Yeah, just kind of bring them together like that. And now we're going to take um, this point, we're going to fold it right over the edge like that. Fold it over. And now take this and fold it behind like that. And now fold this behind. Mm, about like that. It's to taste. Doesn't matter how much, but about like that. Like that. And there is the handle complete. And see how they're locked together? That looks better, I think. Alright, now the last step is pretty much just shape the, the paddle to taste. So um I'm gonna we're gonna round it off here, so I'm gonna fold this behind here. And just shape it however you like. 
And now I'm gonna fold this about like this. So you notice this is slanted a little bit. Yeah, I can make it look more like a paddle, I think. And same on this side. Or if you, you can just fold it like, um, you can just fold it regularly like that. So it'll be like a really round, but now I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it slanted, so like that. Okay. And now just kind of shape it to taste, round it, round it to taste. Just like this. And now just kind of shape it, shape it however you like until it's you're satisfied with your origami paddle and um, just kind of yeah, keep shaping it however you want until you like the way it looks okay that's good enough right there oops yeah be careful so the lock doesn't come undone if it comes undone just kind of remake it so just kind of re overlap the, the edges right here like that and now I'm gonna this like that and that over and that Maybe if you really want to lock it, I'm going to try and really lock it, so I'm just going to make a... I'm just going to fold the points back like that. Just like that. Maybe you can put tape on it if you want, but no, I don't like using tape in origami. I like it when it's pure. Because, you know, that's pure origami. So it doesn't use any tape or glue for the locks, that's what I like about it. And once you did that, here is your origami paddle completed. Like that. And, I'm going to... Rise the camera up a little bit like this and see this better so it's not so close to the table. <laughs> okay, all right, now just take your, your this is just a crunkle ball, just crunkle a piece of paper up or something and make it into a ball. And just yeah, you can take your other paddle here. See, you can just like play ping pong, origami ping pong. Oh, I just want to show you what the pack looks like that I got this piece of paper out of here. I'm gonna just bring the pack over so you can see it. This is the pack right here, 500 sheets, vibrant colors, see? High quality, double-sided, okay? And see, it has a lot of double-sided paper in it. Okay? So here's what the pack looks like, okay? I have several, I have multiple packs of these, so yeah. All right, well, enough with that. I hope you guys enjoyed folding this paddle <laughs> and have fun playing ping pong. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye-bye.